Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis. Mark here, and we are working on killing the rats, quote, unquote. I'm putting rats in quotes because we don't really know. I mean, they don't look like rats to me, but um, they are pretty radish, I guess. Anyway, so before we do this, uh, be sure you have the axe equipped because we need to smash their hats. Their hats are like protective shields. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you get this quest first. Um, after you beat Yobu, um, there's the jumping off point up there. Um, and this, of course, is the big battleground for that boss. Once you beat him, you'll be able to do this quest. So we're going to head sort of back away from the main path. When you come up here, you can actually go two ways. Tengu's up here. He's the mission giver. But there's also a vendor back there. So if you want to go up there and check some stuff out, you should do that. So anyway, when you approach Tengu, he's actually going to be crouched on the ground. He, he will not attack you. So just go up and talk to him. He will offer you this mission. Accept it. When you accept it, um, then you will be able to sort of seek out and kill these three quote unquote rats. And then you got sort of the descriptions there. Don't really need that because I'm going to show you exactly where to find them and exactly how to kill them quickly and I, pretty easily, actually. Um, the first time I fought them, it was a pretty it was pretty tough because they have a poisonous attack and they hop around and their their big old hats act as shields. Um, so I'm going to show you how we go about in doing that. And also, don't forget to come and unlock this shortcut because undoubtedly you'll, you'll need it. Um, and this lady here doesn't really offer much information. Okay, so you can go back um, this way if you like. This is one way to get there to the um, to the rats. If you come up on this portion, you're actually going to come up here on the left. And uh, this is where we came into the area. You can return that way if you like. Um, and just for the curious, I'll show you the other way. If you head back into the temple and then that shortcut we unlocked, you could come back here if you're looking to get some more experience or if you want uh, gold pieces or whatever. <clears throat> you can come in here, take care of those guys, and then just use the tree. And that can get you back into this area as well. So let's go ahead and hop down. And don't forget you hold the B button or the circle button to run. For the first two hours of this game, I did not know about running. <laughs> anyway, uh, so after I recorded this, um, I learned something about this right here. If you sprint from way back here, and if you run up, instead of trying and do what I'm doing here, which is stealth attack, if you just run up to him and start hitting him, you will actually avoid getting hit and take him out very easily. So don't do what I did here. Just blindly sprint around the corner and start mashing that right bumper. Okay, so let's grapple up. The rats are right over here. Now there is a spot. Yes, we can eavesdrop on them. There's one guy way back on the left there. He is... Um, we're going to take him out first because he has some uh, ranged attacks. Um, that are just going to mess everything up. But don't forget to eavesdrop as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's an achievement for that, but if you just want all the lore in the game, you should listen to what they have to say. It's pretty mysterious and probably important. And then when we're done eavesdropping, we're going to hop over to the left here because we're going to sneak around and we're going to kill the guy um, who's hiding behind the tree over there. Yeah, that guy. So we're going to hop over here where that arrow's pointing to the left. Be sure you don't go around down those stairs and to the left because down there, there's a guy with three dogs and uh, it's a mess if you go in there accidentally. So just sneak up behind this guy. Wait till we get our death blow. Boom, take care of him. The other two will not notice, but we're going to take care of... Yeah, don't forget to suck up the coin Animusha style. We're going to work our way to the left side and take out that guy. And then the tree is actually going to be kind of our protector. We're going to use the tree as a shield from the guy on the right. So just come in, and once you attack him, you will see the other guy with his the danger symbol pops up. The tree is going to protect us. And then take out your axe. And remember, the axe takes a little bit to swing. So go ahead and swing it, smash, go for the death blow, and that is it. I'm going to go ahead and let the video play out so you can see where to turn this quest in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video, and I uh, hope you're having fun with the game.
おうネズミ王かやはりお主には人斬りの才があるよし褒美じゃ取っておけこれは足な竜じゃ竜派というても堅苦しい決まり事などないただ戦に勝つそのネズミ狩りに何よりお主の戦に